Hey, hey. <laughs> hi, hi. What's up? What's up? Listen, I am like super excited, but just like at the last minute, things uh-huh. started happening and I was getting scared. Like, okay. <laughs> I just now, have to adjust. Like, <laughs> We cool, we cool. This is going to be a great, great episode podcast. I can feel the energy. I'm, like, really excited right now. Me too. You look great, girl. Oh, thank you. You look great, too. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so I'm going to get right into the intro. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in with your host, Manaya Kid. You are now listening to Let Me Talk My Sh- Podcast. And we have special guest, Sarah. Yay! So, before we get into this episode, I'm going to list out her instagram really quick you guys can follow her at sign xx dot sarah lee dot xx and sarah lee is spelled s-a-i-r-h-l-e-e so you guys go ahead and give her a follow like up her pics you know so um thank you for tuning in once again this is a really dope episode because the title of this episode is called girl boss um a girl boss is a girl that's a boss. Um, Sarah is a girl boss. Uh, she owns her own skincare line by the name of Queen of Heaven um, Hair and Beauty. Um, please tell the viewers and listeners about your business, what kind of products you sell, and etc. cetera. So um, Queen of Heaven, or POH for short, is a small business. It's a skincare line where I just put out a whole lot of stuff like lotions, oils, and soaps, and stuff like that. It is slowly expanding, but that's just what I got going on right now. Okay, okay, okay. I love it. I love to see it, girl. Okay. Are the products handmade by you? Like, do you have a vendor? Like, how are the products made? I have no vendor. I do every single thing myself. Step, step, step. So every step of the way, it's, it's, it's just me doing my research and putting these things together because I think they'll work and they end up coming out like this. <laughs> So um, you said you sell, you said lotions. Mm-hmm. Um, say the other rest. I, I forgot. So you said so, lotions. So, there's like so much more coming, but like it's lotions, like uh-huh. um, polishes and like uh, bar soaps. Okay. Y'all, I'm going to have to buy me. I always tell her this. We be texting each other. I'm like, I'm going to have to buy me some because I love yeah. my body butters, my lotions. Yes, girl. So what? Okay. So you say you hand make them. What kind of ingredients are in your products? Dang. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I um, get my ingredients, like, naturally sourced. Um, mm-hmm. I'll give you a few because I... I... <laughs> <laughs> but I use, like, uh, coconut oil, almond oil, grape grapeseed oil. Um, what else do I use? Let me actually use on here. Yeah. Like natural products like Tahitian vanilla, that's what's in here. And I have natural things like um, mint leaves in like this bar soap right here. This is like coming out like very soon. This is why I have it like right here. Okay. But it's just like everything I put into it is totally natural, whether it's like uh, what? Whether it's the oils or certain butters or certain things, it's all in here. I'm here for it. Um, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know, I have a YouTube channel and I love to like play with products that are natural, all natural oils, butters, all that. Um, okay, so you have your you have your products laid out on the table. Please show us some products. Um, you said your bar soap that's coming out. Tell us a little bit more about that. So this one is Shea and Peppermint. Wait, I cannot see. Can you please lift it up? <laughs> One is Shea and Peppermint. I'm waiting for the labels to come in, like, right now. But this okay. one is Shea and Peppermint. I'm going to open it for you, actually. Okay. So, I don't know if you've heard of someone doing, like, Shea and Peppermint before, but this is no. it. And for, like, the winter season, they're, like, all in different little snowflake um, forms, and it's, like, super cute. But that's that. And there's, like, actual mint leaves in here. I don't, like, I don't strain or hold back on anything. Everything is in here, you know? And what else is here? I have this one. Again, I'm going to open this one for you. Mm-hmm. This one is vanilla and honey. And this is my favorite one, actually, because I use Ooh. oils. Vanilla and honey. And Sounds good. we actually have, like, vanilla pieces in here. Like, I sat mm-hmm. down in my kitchen, and I'm over here cutting up some vanilla and, like, ripping the, the, the beans out of a pot. And I'm just, like, working it into, you know... 
the mixture. So that's it too. They're all in different like uh floral shapes and stuff like mm -hmm. that. For sure. And it smells so good. It smells so good. Wow. So the next thing that oh, the next thing that I'm gonna show you is um my body polish, which is all oil. It's almond oil, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, hemp seed oil, collagen, and vitamin E. Collagen is so great for keeping your skin so yes. beautiful. I love it. I yes. love it. <laughs> it's a beautiful gold color that's all naturally. Mm -hmm. I don't add anything to that. And I there was a point in time where I did. It was like Mika powder, but that wasn't cutting it for me. I did not. Okay. <laughs> It, it ended up being so abrasive and the color was just like it was just too much going on <laughs> but um next thing is my vanilla and honey moisturizer it's the Ooh. lotion and i have the vanilla beans in here is it beans or pods i have the beans inside here okay it's like everything is mixed up into here and it's just i use actual honey in here too do you really yes <laughs> okay I use everything natural in here and it's just mm -hmm. like it takes a lot of research and it takes you knowing what you're doing to um really pull it off and it was a lot of trial and error but there we have it <laughs> I'm, that's amazing I love to see it I love to see like women doing their thing girl like props to you um please tell the viewers the website that we they can purchase any of these products Oh, yeah, so it is just queenofheavenhairandbeauty.com. That's been like a long time, that. but it's uh, queenofheavenhairandbeauty.com. No spaces, straight through, and it'll take you there. Yes, yes, I will be making the purchase. And one of the things I had told you is that I love the packaging of your products. I feel like it gives, like, a nice, elegant, mature, grown look. You know what I'm saying? It's the black, it's sleek, it's just, I love it. Let me tell you, I was... Originally, it was like a year ago, I was, um, you know, I told you about like what was going on like a year ago. All yeah, yeah, yeah. Our packaging and everything. I was sitting down in my room and I was like, bro, I want to, I want a website or something. And everything I was seeing, it was, it was not working for me. Uh -huh. Especially what I was seeing on Instagram. It was like, I don't want to see that right now because I'm not <laughs> going to get too focused on what next people have. And it's just like, you know, I want to have my own thing going. Right, right. So... I took a little bit of inspiration from, like, a fashion website. I'm not going to say names, but mm -hmm. I saw, like, a common theme was, like, black, gold, and white. And I was like, okay, this is very, makes me feel, like, luxurious and everything. So I yes, like, yes. I'm going to borrow this and see where it takes me. And it ended uh -huh. up being black, emerald, gold, which I love, and gold. And I was like, this is it. This yes. Is it. <laughs> and I love it. I love it. I love it. Like you said, trial and error plays a big part um, yeah. of anything, just in life in general, but definitely when it comes to being a girl boss. Mm -hmm. um, so let me ask you, what, what inspired you to start this business? I love this question. So <laughs> um, a while back, I'd say like two years ago, it's gonna be like three years ago in August, um, I was uh, taking care of my mom mm -hmm. and she had some dermatology issues, like issues with her skin. Okay. And it was just like certain things that she was using was like too cold, too this, too that, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it was just like, I tried my best to, you know, figure out, okay, what could I do to help and whatnot. And unfortunately, I did not think of anything in time. And it was like, I'd say a few months after, I was like, mm, let me try something. What if, I, what if I would make my own stuff? How would that work out? And I ended up going on Amazon and like picking out a whole lot of stuff. It was like body butters and like lip glosses at first. I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this, see how it works. And it did end up working. Wow. And it was just like, you know, that's part of the trial and error. You know, it evolved like so. I think I can find a picture of like where it was like a year ago. That's 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 dope. It's like I don't know. That's just dope. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, I got a picture of it, like, right here. My best friend actually promoted this before anyone else. Ah, that's so nice. So, wait, did you, um, did you take that picture? It was actually, um, Keisha. She took that picture. Oh, hey, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
Okay, I'm like, so excited because I went to um, I went to our uh, precious's house, and I was like, okay, I loaded up a whole lot of stuff in my in, in my dad's car, and it was just like, okay, I don't know if this is gonna sell. Mm-hmm. I don't know if people are gonna look at it or even do anything. I don't I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. And then I ended up spending like I say around eight body butters and like a whole lot of. I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Keisha was like, okay, we promote this. And I was like, okay, go ahead. So she set it up so nicely and she just took it and um she posted it and I was just like, bro, oh my god. Like waterworks were there and it was just like I'm so happy. <laughs> I love that picture. That's so nice. It's so professional. It's so I love it. Love it. Um, Sarah, when did you start this whole process? Like how long ago was this? Like when you first started? I'd say two years ago. Two wow. Two years ago in, when was it? It had to be November. Yeah. November two years ago. Wow. So it's still recent. Mm-hmm. So just imagine a few years from now yep. where you will be. All that progress I've made. Imagine a few years from like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to be there like, that's my girl. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yes. Um. So you have the Queen of Heaven skincare line. Mm-hmm. Um, you also write poetry, and I find that so awesome because that's one of the things you and I have in common. We both yes. write <laughs> poetry. Um, what inspired you to start writing? So I've pretty much always been eloquent. Like in school, it's been noted that I can write like some bomb essays in like a good amount of time, and it was just like. I read um, a few poetry books and I'm like, okay, I like this. What if I could, you know, take what I know, take what I've been doing and put that into a little, you know, what is it? Two stanzas or something like that. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was just like testing it out. I was saying in my, that's where most of like my creative thinking, ha- thinking happens. It's like in my room, on my laptop. And it's just like, I started writing a few lines. And I was like, okay, mm-hmm. I can, I can get, I can get to like this. Okay. And when I finished like um one of my my first poems. It was just like okay, I'm loving this a bit too much. So it started becoming a habit where I would just sit down and like put all of my emotions or like what I was thinking into poems. And it's like yeah, I got this. Yes, I love it, and it's like that sometimes. Like especially for me, I usually write poetry to just express my feelings. Um, mm-hmm. it's kind of like journaling, pretty much. Mostly I journal, and then sometimes I'll play around with it and then turn it into poetry. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> what are your poems usually about? So, um, they're about literally anything and everything I'm feeling in that moment. Recently, mm-hmm. I just did December poetry poem. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, I had so much going on, I didn't get to finish the full 25 days like Uh I was supposed to do um but that was pretty much it like everything I'm feeling I put it right into my poetry wow yeah I can relate on that (laughs) it's like you have all these poems and then if you look through them you're like oh I remember this time it was during this time of my life and this and And then some of them were just like fun like freestyle fun you know yeah so like I know you you've had writer's block before. I know it's happened. Yes, so, girl. Like, <laughs> like, how do you get over that? Because it's something that I still struggle to get over. Um, I always like to, if this makes sense, live a little more. Um, because I feel like my best poems, even like I songwrite, even my best songs, they come, they sound better when I go through things or situations um so whether it's a it's a happy situation or it's a sad situation um I just I just go out there and and experience life a little more so whether it's traveling um I remember like one of my first poems is after I visit Jamaica and like I was talking about the um the blue seawater and all this other stuff um so yeah I would say just get out there and experience things whether it's traveling meeting new people seeing new places and it would just all come to you right that does make sense I like that I like that <laughs> yes yes <laughs> I like that. actually um I was writing a song yesterday and I was like wow 
um, if I never been through this situation, these lyrics would have never came out on paper, you know? Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Yes. I <laughs> So I wanted to ask you a few questions. So this was not so one-sided. Okay. I was going to ask, when did you start Let Me Talk My Sh? Ah, okay. So I started Let Me Talk My Sh October 2021. Ooh. I remember it. Well, it wasn't that long ago, but I remember it like it's yesterday. That's valid. And what inspired it? To be honest, um... It's a, it's a funny story, but <laughs> so when I first started, let me talk my sh, I'll never forget, I was in my room and I just felt like venting because like I said, I journal a lot. So I'm always writing down what I feel or venting to my journal. Um, mm -hmm. And then I was like, what would it be like if I made like an audio journal? Um, and then I don't know if you know, like sometimes like, I don't know if you ever do this, like when you're getting dressed, you like kind of pretend like there's a camera in front of you or yeah. like, you're like, so first I do this and first I do this. Yeah. So I was basically doing that, pretending like I'm on like a talk show or pretending like I'm on a, um, a podcast. So I, I took my phone and I was just like venting my feelings. And I actually, the very first episode of Let Me Talk My Sh is just me. And that episode is actually that, that moment where I was just venting to my phone and I was just like, listen this is how I feel da, 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 you know and I have so many more episodes in the archive that I'm planning to release um of just me expressing myself but that's pretty much how I got started it was just me venting and I was like you know what you know maybe I can make this a podcast you know and then the name let me talk my sh just came to me Definitely. just just came to me you know it's the creative mind okay. yes <laughs> yes girl I know we both have it <laughs> yep and it's so it's like I don't know how to explain it, but it's like so. I don't want to say, but it, it evolves. It starts as something so small, just like a, a minor thought, and then it progresses into something so huge. And it's just like when you look back at where you started, it's like I never would have thought that it would be like where it is. Yeah, now. and I feel like you have to be determined because a lot of people you have a little thought. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like, hmm. I wonder it would be like if I started my own skincare line. You just think about it, you let it go. But I feel like to be a girl boss, people like us, it's like you have that idea and you're like, I'm going to do it. Like, without the fear, without people judging me, I'm just going to go out there and do it. And how do you deal with the negative comments, the, the, the judgment? Um, <laughs> I, I have a lot of negative comments, a lot of negative people, because... um. And the most humblest way I'm going to say this is, like, there's not a lot of people doing what I'm doing around me. So, um, of course, you're going to get, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whether it's close people, you're going to get, like, oh, you're doing this too much. Or what's this? Or what are you doing? Da -da -da -da. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But um, I would say, for those listening, how to deal with that is first you recognize it and you go, okay, that person, they're a Debbie Downer. Okay, yep. I see that. Um, don't get mad, but just recognize it, place them in that category. And kind of block it out and just be confident in what you stand for. Because I feel like a Debbie Downer's goal is to get you down, to get you sad. So you yeah. just, you know, you just got to block it out. Be like, I'm going to smile anyways. I think it was Denzel. Yeah, Denzel Washington. I was just thinking this like a few days ago. He was like, those who can't, they, uh, what was it called? Those who can't don't. You know? Yeah. And it was like, if someone sees you doing something and it's just like, oh, I see what she's doing there. I can't do it. So I'm going to bring her down so she feels like, you know, we're about to be at the same level now, you know? That's true. And it also goes um, hand in hand with seeing other people doing the same things as you. You kind of get, like, discouraged and it's just like, oh, I see they're doing so much better. I should be right there right now. I should mm -hmm. be like where she, we should be at the same level I should be like doing more than them but I'm not so it's mm -hmm. just like you feel like you're running behind mm -hmm. but it's just like you you have to number one know yourself yeah you gotta know yourself through all of this know what you want know the end goal know what what you're willing to sacrifice for all of this to happen mm -hmm. I can't watch other people because it's just like it's, it's too much it's too much <laughs> on what I'm doing. Yeah. I know that what I'm doing works for me and it's gonna pay off. Like I was telling you this the other day, it's gonna pay off. I know mm -hmm. it will. 
Mm-hmm. And what other people are doing is not going to benefit me. So, you know. Exactly. <laughs> like, just throw that in the trash. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. I want to ask you a question. This one is very interesting. Um, ooh, do you think being a girl boss is intimidating to some people? For example, like your friends, family, or even your significant other? It definitely is. It yes. definitely is. It I has agree. caused, like, personally, it has caused a bit of issues, like, in my personal life. Oh, because she feels like she's doing this, she's better than me, or something like that. Or um, it's definitely people looking for a lot of handouts and all that stuff, and I don't do handouts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I'll give you this for free just because you're my cousin's aunt, whatever. No, I don't do that. Uh-huh. But it's just like, a, it's like, competition unsaid mm-hmm. competition and mm-hmm. it doesn't exist but because you're in this line of work whatever you do people think it exists and it's just like, yeah 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 you know i agree it's 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 a it's a tough game but you have to have thick skin yeah that's all I, you know and once you know that like this is my life you know what i'm saying like this is my life i would do what makes me happy you're good <laughs> that's it that is it. Um, Sarah, how do you deal with failure? Oh, I think you saw I think you saw one of like the things that I was telling my friend that I texted my friends and I was just like saying failure is a stepping stone. Mm-hmm. Failure is actually success because while you think you failed and you haven't learned anything from this, you have everything to learn from failure. Failure only takes you up, it only elevates you. That's it. Failure is motivation. I've failed at so many things so many times, but listen, I'm here now. I'm doing what I'm doing, and it's it's working beautifully and effortlessly because of my failures. Mm-hmm. I agree. You ever you ever look back and you're like, wow, young me versus me now, you know? Oh my God, young me would love me right now. <laughs> she's so cool she's so cool i want to be doing what she's doing right now like oh my gosh it's just younger me was just a shell of myself i was just i don't i don't know how to explain it but it's just like where i am now i'm so proud of myself i'm more of myself and it's just like i'm i'm super proud of myself yes you're like you're on fire you're going yeah you're like wow look at me go (laughs) um what what okay so overall you seem like like you said, you started two years ago, but you have your head on straight and you're just confident you're a girl boss. What advice overall would you give to those um, that would like to start their own skincare line but don't know how to get started? Start small. Start small, know what you want, and um, know that it's going to take a whole lot of time to get where you um actually want to be it's not something for quick money if you're really in it to um make progress and like all that stuff start small but um don't cut corners start Mm -hmm. small but don't cut corners go just invest everything you have into it all emotionally mentally everything you have right into whatever you want to do and it's you're gonna have a lot of low motivation because I see what's going on on my socials and it's just like hey you know I'm mm-hmm. not doing that but you're gonna you're gonna lose like so much motivation but it's just like as long as you know the end goal what you want you'll be okay okay sounds good you hear that y'all take notes <laughs> take notes <laughs> Yeah, and for the future podcast starters, because I was talking to, like, someone I know, like, a few days ago, and they were like, oh, I want to start my own podcast, but it's just like, I don't have time, but what would you, what would you say, what's your <laughs> advice, your tips for those kind of people? Um, my number one advice is, number one, go for it. Even if you have to shut your eyes and go for it, shut your eyes and go for it, because, um, the number one thing you don't want to do is say, well, I wish I could have, but I didn't. Um, second of all, use what you have. Um, I feel like there's this like misconception where people think that you have to go mainstream in order to start like music, podcasts, skincare line, whatever it is that you have to be mainstream. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I want to be a musician, but I'm not signed, so I'm not going to do it. 
oh, um, I want to start a podcast, but I don't have a big studio, so I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Use the tools that you have um, and just be real, whether your podcast is supposed to be funny, whether it's supposed to be more like serious or whatever it is, just just be you um, and just use your own tools, whether it's your phone, you're recording from um, like me, I edit, I film, I record everything myself. I don't go through a second source. I do everything myself, release everything myself. So if it's like, I can do it you can do it and just just go for it and that's all it takes that's that's what a girl wants it that's, that's what, what, it, what i'm saying like it's it's definitely i think it's a mindset you have to have a, the mindset of a girl boss um yeah. and it's like whenever we talk i can just feel it like you got that mindset it's like y'all the number one and that should be the number one um tip first of all get your mind together get your mind in the game before anything yeah. anything it's your mind before everything else. Because if you it's have true. a mindset, you're going to feel like nobody's business. Like, you got to keep your head straight. You know what you're doing, know what you want. And that's it. That's it, man. That's it. And then you just, um, you're on fire. You're on fire. So it's it's 2022, Sarah. Um, yeah. What, what, what? <laughs> it's really 2020. Yo, this is crazy. It's really 2022. Um what what's your plans for 2022 what, what's coming for um queen of heaven what, what's going on for 2022 you can't stop me okay like, like, <laughs> you can't okay. stop me it's just like i want more merchandise for my brand because i do have a lot of people that support me um i do have like a lot of people going behind this and promoting this as much as they can uh-huh i want to get merchandise like hoodies bags and all this stuff um, I want to extend my brand to like more collabs and all this stuff. Okay. And content creation for me personally, because I did start last year, but it was just like it was it wasn't frequent. As okay. As frequent as I like, and it's just like I enjoy content creating. I enjoy the hours and hours of editing and you know doing all this stuff. And it was, it's just like I want to do everything I said I was going to do. I want mm-hmm. to make myself proud by finishing completing all that I said I was going to do and can't stop it. Stop me, stop me going. <laughs> this year it just feels so epic. It feels so um it feels different. Well we said that about twenty twenty one but this year it, it just because <laughs> <laughs> I did say that about twenty twenty one. Like twenty twenty two I have a different kind of feeling about it. Twenty 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 one okay. <laughs> So you guys hear it. Um, oh, you know what? Before we end out, let me say what some of my 2022 goals. Um, definitely to just just be me unapologetic, unapologetically. Um, I always say that is my number one quote. Um, because like like you said, you can't stop me. Once you're out there, you're going. You're just going. Whether it's new um, ideas, um, new podcast episodes, whatever it is, just just be me and go yeah. out there. And that carried me so far, just being me unapologetically. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. That's actually the quote for um cool kid closet. Or well, the definition of a cool kid. Someone who is themselves unapologetically. Yes. And I saw I saw the cool kid page. I'm about to order half because I love my yes, I love my baseball caps. <laughs> yes, and you look so cute in them too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's that's the vibe. Yes, yes. I'll get you a cool kid hat, then I'll get some of your products. It's a wrap. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so it is now 1130, but before I always close out the episode, I always ask every guest a fun, funky question, something different. Um, something different that has to do with this episode, okay? So, everyone is talking about Don't Look Up, the movie on Netflix, about two astronomers trying to tell everyone about a comet will destroy the planet. If you receive the news that was happening today, what is the first thing you're doing besides screaming? No, because I'm definitely going to have to scream first. I'm just <laughs> like, okay, it's going to be like a wave of emotion. I would try to get a hold of everyone I know and just say everything. Um, leave nothing unsaid, nothing undone. Um, honestly, I would like try to find a bunker or something because I, I would not be ready for anything at all. But it's just like, 
after a while it would just be acceptance and it's just like dang if this is gonna be the end then okay all right as long as i know that there's nothing that i did not say nothing that i did not do i'm good i'm good have you have you watched that movie I am going to get to it today. I, I swear I'm going to get to it today because it's in my um it's in my list, my Netflix list. But it's just uh -huh. you know when something is in your list for so long and you're really just staring at it and it's just like you're like should I click on it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah, it. it's a it's it's a good movie. Honestly, I'm on the same wave as you. I would probably just be like, wow, this is really happening. You know what? Let me reach out to some people. You know. And then I would just come to acceptance and be like, okay, this is what it is. Yeah, because that's, you know? that's all there really is to do. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> that's all there is to do. Exactly. Yes, guys. So you hear it. This wraps up the episode of Let Me Talk My Sh Girl <laughs> Boss Edition. Yay. This was so guys, fun. Thank you. Thank you so No much. problem. Thank you. Thank you for being a guest. I so appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to um follow her at sign xx dot s a i r a h l e e dot x x. Follow her and please repeat your website again where people can purchase your products. It is T O H for sure, but it is Queen of Heaven here in Beauty dot com. No spaces, and it'll take you straight there. Yes, you guys go purchase some awesome products. I'm going to do the same, guys. Don't forget to be here next time for Let Me Talk My. Sh we're out. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ah. <laughs>